You don't want all that. It's giving off stain off and musty. Must it's giving off musty. Must cats. It's giving off musty. Very so what is sweat. Off. Very just ugh. <laughs> about feminine hygiene hygiene care yes. dealing with the body part down there also you guys we do have videos here on our channel where we showcase feminine hygiene hygiene care body care skin care and much more so make sure you guys go check out all of our previous videos we will make sure to link those videos in the eye we all have like a natural body odor a mm -hmm. neutral scent or an aroma if you would call it or if you may say mm -hmm. so if you start noticing like any type of you know unpleasant smells down there sometimes you may need to go to a doctor and also you guys just to let you guys know we are not licensed we're going to be giving you guys some of our tips that work for, for us and these tips can also be beneficial for you as well secret tip and a secret little sauce is for you to just figure out what Scent goes with your natural body aroma, your mm -hmm. natural body scent. So, so the first thing and first tip that I can tell y'all is cleaning up your diet. I'm not telling you that you know you can't have this and you can't have that. Just clean it up a little bit. You know, you may want to you know pull back on the dead cakes, put the honey bun down. Yeah. Greasy foods, pizza, burgers, fast food. You know you don't have to eat that all the time. You eat that in moderation and just. Don't overindulge in those things. All of the oranges, the limes, the lemons, the grapefruit, um, pineapples, you guys. Even if you guys don't want to eat fruit, you guys can find other alternatives. I know I, well, we make smoothies all the time, so you mm -hmm. guys can make a smoothie. Maya makes apple crisps sometimes, which they are very, very good. You guys want to be eating foods that have a lot of fiber in it, so those are your leafy greens, your, um, just like me was saying, some, um, the citrus fruits, the other vegetables as well, but some vegetables you kind of, you can eat them, but if you know that you're about to do something or go somewhere, you yeah. probably want to just steer clear of them. Y'all, yeah, I'm just not getting into juicing, so juicing will help your body digest the um, fruits and veggies better that you're intaking. So you gotta give your mm -hmm. digestive system a little bit of a break. You're at like a time crunch, you don't really want to make these things. They also sell these fruits and juices um, oh in, the in the store. But you have to make sure that it's all natural and yeah. you know, cause uh, today or these people come up with everything. A lot of the times, most of these juices be 100% syrup. If you one of the girls that's running around here saying that you don't drink water, what? baby, then this video is not for you because Cause we boss. drink our water over here. Because boss. Okay? <laughs> no. no. Our bodies are majorly made up of water. water. For me, whenever I am drinking alkaline water, spring water, and purified periodically throughout the day, my skin just looks oh, so oh my gosh, good. Like, alkaline water, really, especially, and also y'all, if y'all eat y'all mm -hmm. oranges, girl, your skin... If you guys do not like drinking water, you can find other alternatives to do mm -hmm. it. You can put fruit in your water. If you work out, then you may put water in your protein like we do. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's a lot of different ways that you can intake water. <laughs> so, y'all, the next thing that I would say is chlorophyll. Uh, these are in the form of the soft gels. A natural deodorizer. So, it's just going to deodorize your body from the inside. I don't think I'm ever going to put this down. So, I literally love taking these, you guys. Um, I do want to get the liquid version as well, y'all. You just drop it in some water, you know. Deodorize you yes. from outward. The underneath your arms. Yeah. The breath. Yeah. Her, you know. Yeah. Getting your cranberry juice, you guys can take the cranberry peels. Mm -hmm. It's very good in terms of UTIs and if you have any affections down there. But this also helps in aid of smelling good and tasting good. Amazing. Another thing that you guys can be um, intaking is your kombucha. So kombucha is a fermented drink made from black and green teas and it has a lot of antibacterial properties in kombucha. So kombucha also helps improve your digestive system and if you guys are battling with like a yeast infection or something like that can also help aid and cure your yeast infection as well. Yes rid of all the bad bacteria that you have in your body by replacing it with good bacteria in your body. So 
you will have to get acquired to the taste okay mm -hmm. because i have to get acquired to it starting out but you know it's it's fine now so kombucha is a drink it has a lot of probiotics in it you know as a woman we need those if you guys do not want to drink kombucha, you guys can take some probiotic supplements. Another thing that can be really good to help her smell good down there is your fenugreek. So these are the supplements you guys can also do um, the seeds and the powder, the powder as well. If you are experiencing some dryness, this is also good for you as well. And this will help your um, blood sugar levels as well. I'm kind of iffy on the fenugreek, y'all. Mm -hmm. it, it makes you smell like syrup and I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan. For my kitty area, I'm going to be using my Zero Taboos Intimate Wash. This is a fragrance free foaming wash. And you know, you know, my girl, you know, she loves everything fragrance free. This feminine wash is created with prebiotics. This supports healthy bacteria and flora. Some of the harsh soaps that we're using contains preservatives and they are suppressing both your good and your bad bacteria, which will cause a little bit of an odor. So the prebiotics is here to kick it all out, okay? The prebiotics is just going to help support the good bacteria and you're just going to be smelling nice and fresh and she's just going to be... She's going to be right, okay? I just want to get this all over my kitty area, and I do wash the booty with this. Don't forget the crank, okay? <laughs> this has easily risen to the top of any feminine wash that I have ever used in the past, and this is my literal favorite. I will not be purchasing any other feminine wash other than this. This stuff is amazing. It's not drying. Ah, I love it. I would highly, highly suggest you do your research. Having a healthy microbiome protects you from bacteria, funguses, infections, anything like that. Do you guys use the toilet before or after you shower? <laughs> I'm kind of a before girl, but today was after. I'm taking my wipe gel that is turning my toilet paper into wet wipes, okay? That is the consistency of it. It's a little on the thicker side. So you just want to take some toilet paper and you want to put a dot size amount and you want to just fold it up, you know, kind of dish it around a little bit <laughs> and wipe, 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 you guys. This is the perfect replacement for wet wipes. And yes, these are flushable. You can flush it down the toilet, okay? <laughs> and one bottle of this is equivalent to up to 400 wipes. This is from Zero Taboos. Check out the description box for all the information. And we also have a discount code down there. This, this right here, y'all, this is like heaven in a bottle. Heaven, heaven in a bottle. bottle. I will literally never use another wash down there ever again. Y'all, yeah. all that fruity, duh, 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 mm -mm, no, no ma'am, no ma'am. This it takes the cake. Zero Taboos, this is literally my favorite wash that I have ever used on her. You guys would just have to try it out and see and let me know your results. I feel like I'm advocating for this so freaking hard, y'all, because like it's just, it's, it's amazing, y'all. It's the best one that I've ever tried ever mm -hmm. used and another thing that i've been loving is this white gel so now this is for back there this back this there. is for your behind area I also use it for her sometimes too we want her to smell good but we want the booty to smell good too okay because smells gonna travel and we don't even know we don't want all that it's giving off stain off and musty. Musty. it's giving off musty. Musty. musty it's giving off musty very so what is sweat very just Ugh. Sometimes the wet wipes clogs up the toilet and stop up the toilet, but this you can actually put it on your tissue. We have a solution okay. for you guys. This is a solution. Okay. Now, if you was looking for the answer, this is the answer right here. Right here. Okay. okay. <laughs> you are not using anything wet back there, you know, when you need to be using something. Also, y'all, make sure, make sure you put your man on to using this because he will thank you. Yeah. They have a travel size. I can't keep putting this bottle in my purse and I'm like I, I need something small and compact and this also has prebiotics and um, witch hazel in it as well and it's fragrance yeah. free because you know we talk about her but we need to be talking about what's back there because what's going on we, yeah, we need to be talking about both because baby for me my um, what's going on in the bag okay in the bag for how they say in the bike in the bike okay <laughs> 
I do the same exact thing for my feminine hygiene as I do for my butt care. Yeah. Whenever you're washing her, whenever you're washing your butt as well, you mm -hmm. guys do want to be mindful of the rags you're using. I suggest that you use just a pure white rag because these rags you get from the store, y'all, you get it from the store and it's still bleeding. You can cause a lot of problems yes. just down there with all these. So I, just, I suggest you use just a plain white rag to so make sure that you have different rags and make sure that you are not cross contaminating your butt juice with the coop juice with the, uh, with, 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 her. with the peach juice okay oh, oh you yeah. yeah the peach <laughs> juice i like that even better if you are having problems on there um odor wise your, if your ph levels are off you guys should try out putting some apple cider vinegar into your water it balances out your ph levels so definitely try that and also alkaline water it actually activates your epsom salt in mm -hmm. your bath water so if you just put epsom salt in your bath water it's actually not activated until you put outside of it in your hair i just have to get that first wash out the way like a cleanser like you know how yeah. you wash your face you cleanse it you cleanse and it wash. and then you, you know yeah. you can go with another cleanser so y'all mm -hmm. i like to use either my dove soap one of my shea moisture bars a sister bronner's peppermint soap or i will use the baby soap for Dr. Bronner's. Uh, I have to make sure that my body is just thoroughly, thoroughly clean and do this with either an exfoliating rag. I would do this with a regular rag and I will also do this with exfoliating gloves. Mm -hmm. So I really love using the exfoliating gloves. Um, I also exfoliate with them sometimes, but if I'm exfoliating with the gloves, then I'm not going to use it for my wash because I just don't want to be too harsh on my skin. You know, I want her to still be, you know, nice, soft, you know, melty. After that, I would go in with the nice little body wash. Use a mm -hmm. luva. I love using the Dr. Bada soap underneath my arms because I know some people have problems with um, underneath the arms, but make sure everything is cleaned, cleaned out from underneath the arms. Another thing that um, we use is body scrubs and exfoliators, exfoliants. So yeah. you want to make sure that you are exfoliating your skin so that you are removing all of the dead skin. I don't necessarily exfoliate every single day, but I make sure that I am at least exfoliating at least every three days or every three to four days. If you are the type of person that goes to the gym a lot and you sweat a lot, if you have much more of a oily skin, then you would need to exfoliate a little bit more. more yeah. But if you have a little bit of on the drier side, then you need to exfoliate a little bit less. less. However, we also want to make sure that you are not over exfoliating because if you are over exfoliating, it will create dry skin, it will make your skin rough, and it also will make your skin patchy. So yeah. you need to make sure that you are doing what works for, for your you. body. If you're not exfoliating, you need to be exfoliating. Yeah. If you don't want to get any of the body scrubs from out of the store that they offer, then you can make your own body scrubs. I know I make mm -hmm. my own body scrubs a lot. My body benefits from them a mm -hmm. lot, y'all. And I feel like I just know how to make them smell good. Like I just, I, I really experiment with making body scrubs. Mm -hmm. I love making them. The world is only getting more and more polluted. So all of that stuff is going onto your skin and it's getting into your pores. And then exfoliating, you guys, it makes your skin so much softer, so yeah. smooth. If you, you want, want a smooth, baby, smooth, soft skin, skin, you need to be exfoliating because y'all, I'm telling y'all, exfoliating will have you out here just yeah. feel like a baby's bottom. In terms of the panties, okay, y'all, you mm -hmm. want to be making sure that you are wearing cotton underwear. Okay. The lace, the satin, the silk. The, you know, it's real pretty. It looks really, really good. Sexy. But one thing about her, she can't breathe and she's, she's dying out. She's she she wants air. She's begging. She's okay. begging and pleading. She's yeah. She's crying out. Yeah, she's crying. She's crying. She is squealing. She's squeaking. She's like, Can you please just let, let me out? Because I, I need to breathe. breathe. Cause I need to breathe. She really so you going, really you really have your girl trapped. Make sure that you're going out pantyless as well. She will benefit. She will love you, especially at night in the bed. Just mm -hmm. take the panties off, cause you don't need to keep her. You don't need to keep her down there trapped. You know, you don't yeah. want her to feel like that she's suffocating. You know, she feels like she doesn't have a voice. You know, <laughs> she just feels like that. You know, you know, you she just, just you have just you you have just trapped her away in a dungeon. You're really bullying that girl. <laughs> Make sure for the most part that you are wearing cotton underwear and that you are going pantyless. And if you are wearing a lot of the silk and you know, the lace underwear, just make sure that they're just not going to be on for 
a long period of time. And if it is like 108 degrees outside and you know that is. you, um, yeah it is, <laughs> and you know that you sweat a lot, you know that you're going to be sweating, you might not want to go painless on that day. So you might just want to stick to the cotton panties on that day. And panties are much more breathable than the satin, the silks, and you know, those cute panties that we all love. But I go in with my body washes and I exfoliate and I get my skin it's soft and everything. Now I'm looking for that glow, baby. I'm looking for that hydration. So I go in with some um, body lotion, body oil, and body oil gels. So you guys don't have to use a lotion and an oil and a gel. However, me, I like to get the maximum hydration that I can get. The game changer is the body cream. The creams are 10 times, 10 times better. Yes, the creams are 10 times, times better. better. Because the creams, they're very rich and they're very thick. And yeah. sometimes you can find the cream with the oil already in them. Mm -hmm. So if you have a cream with the oil already in them, I think the Fancy Beauty um, body cream, they already have the oil in them. And so you don't have to go in with the oil after that. However, me, I sometimes will most likely go in with the oil afterwards. Yes. In terms of deodorant, I know for me, Dove deodorant and vegan deodorant just works for me. I haven't found anything else personally for me that works. But I like vegan and Dove as well. However, I'm still on a hunt for a good deodorant for myself. I just recently came across this Kiehl's cream deodorant that I think I'm going to try out. You guys, so for me, Dove actually works for me. However, I notice when I do, when I am using Dove over time, my underarms kind of create this lump on the inside of it. So I feel like it's a lot of it. It's a lot, a lot of chemicals, of chemicals in it for me. So mm -hmm. I can't use that for a long period of time, and I'd rather just not use it at all. Yeah. So yeah. I just don't think that I can use that. So I am on a hunt for something new. So if you guys know any other deodorants that I should try, make sure you guys put them in the comment section down below for me to try because. Baby, I need the tips, okay? Right, give us the sauce, okay? okay. <laughs> and usually I just like to go in with a nice smell good, a nice mm -hmm. perfume. You guys need to be using a mouthwash. This will really clean out any odor that you have in your mouth and using a tongue scraper. And so. they also have a travel size of that. Therapy. Oh yeah, they also have a travel size as well. So you guys definitely want to make sure that you guys are flossing. They also now have the water flossing on um, Amazon, so... You definitely need to make sure that you are flossing to make sure that this you are not no getting excuse. food into your gums because that will cause gum disease if you are not flossing. Another thing that I didn't mention, in terms of being on your period, y'all, it's this brand of pads. And they have penny lighters as well that I really, really love. And they are literally the best pads that I have ever tried. I know when they first came out, they were... They were called something they else. They were called Cherish Pads. That's what they were called. But, they were called I, but they changed, they changed the name. their names, y'all. They're literally my favorite pads yeah. ever. I'll probably look them in the description box. Some of the pads that are, are in the store now cause ovarian cancer mm -hmm. because of the dyes and stuff that they do have in the middle of the pads, the coloring, yeah. and yeah, also the material where they're made out of trash bag materials and stuff like that. So the mm -hmm. Cherish Pads. I forgot what they're made out of, but yes. when the pet breaks down, it breaks down into a gel. Those are our tips. If you guys have any more tips that you would like to let the girls know, y'all let them know because we can benefit, they may come benefit. We all over here, we all like helping each other over here. So make sure you guys definitely put those in the comment section down, down below. below. Leave us some likes, leave us some comments, make sure you subscribe, and share this video, hit that notification bell so you guys will never miss a notification from, from us. us. Thank you guys so so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye guys, guys.